Okay, a related rates problem. In this case, we have a rectangle as laid out on the right hand side, 12 feet by 8, 8 feet, um, and is increasing at a rate of 3 feet per second on the 8 foot side, and the width is decreasing by 2 feet per second. So it's kind of mapped out over on the right hand side. Um, what we want to do is first of all figure out in part A how quickly is the per perimeter changing. So let's set up a perimeter equation. As we do this, I'm going to first start labeling my sides. I'm going to say the bottom is x, means the top's x also because it's a rectangle, and the sides, let's illustrate those with y's. All right, so our perimeter can be given by, we have the distance all the way around, right? So we have two x's and two y's added together would be our perimeter. All right, next let's identify if we have an x value of 12, just going to kind of list things out over here and that's changing that means the X's are changing with respect to time at a positive three feet per second All right it's increasing so that one's positive now our Y's we know we have a Y value Y is equal to 8 at the beginning but that's changing with respect to time by two feet per second but it's decreasing so it's going to be a negative two all right. After we have that, let's go over to our perimeter equation and let's differentiate this with respect to time. So the left hand side is going to be dp dt, the derivative of perimeter with respect to time. And then one term at a time, let's go ahead and take the derivative of 2x is just going to be 2. But because our variable was x, we need to put a dx dt next to that. Plus the next term we have 2y. So its derivative is just going to be 2, but our variable was y, so we need to put a d, dy dt next to that. We just took the derivative of y with respect to time. Okay, to figure out how quickly this perimeter is changing, let's fill in the information we collected over on the right-hand side. So dx dt was positive 3. dy dt was negative 2. And this works out to be dp dt is going to be 6 minus 4 makes a positive 2. So it'll be changing at a positive 2 and our units are feet per second. All right, next up the area. Well, the area of our rectangle can be represented as x multiplied by y. <clears throat> and pretty similar here, we're going to differentiate with respect to time. Now this one's a little bit more difficult. The left hand side, not so much so. You get dA dt, the, uh, uh, how fast the area is changing with respect to time. But on the right hand side, we want to be a little bit careful. That first of all, we have two things multiplied together over here. So I'm going to have to use the product rule to differentiate. So first of all, I'm going to differentiate x. Its derivative is just 1, but we have to put a dx dt next to that. Then we bring along our second function. plus you keep the first function the same, but differentiate this time our second function, y. Its derivative is going to be 1, but we have to put a dy dt next to that because we differentiated y with respect to time. All right, the rest of this is mostly just filling in and figuring out what's happening. All right, so 1 times positive 3 gets plugged in for dx dt. For y, we can replace that with 8, plus for x, we said 12 was our x value, multiplied by dy dt, it's decreasing by 2 feet per second, so negative 2 can get plugged in there. All right, it's just a matter of simplifying this down, and we will know how quickly our area is changing. All right, so it's 24 minus 24 is going to be 0. So it's actually changing by 0 feet squared per second. All right, hope this helps out. Um, shouldn't be too bad. Just label the sides and pick out the correct formula you want to be using in each and every case. All right, since the area um, was changing at a rate of 0 feet squared per second, it's not changing at this point. Now, it would perhaps with different dimensions or different rates. Hope this helps out. Good luck with related rates.